Okay, well, so here's a news flash. A week has seven days and um, you have a weekly vlog and I'm trying to cram in seven days in a 20 minute video. And in those seven days, a lot of things happen. There's a lot of boring things happen as well. Um, what I've noticed after a couple of uh, weeks on the road is that being that introvert that I am, which manifests itself as sometimes being an extrovert. I love my own space. I love my own time. I love my own quiet. But I also need the nearness of people, which was like a, a bit of an ambiguous situation. So what I've noticed in the last couple of weeks is that um, for every visit I make to a town, which I really, really want to, because I want to see people and I want to do the, the, the shopping, the gym, the going to a market, uh, to observe people, you know, drinking a coffee on a terrace and then just watch the people and watch uh, life pass by as, as much as I like that I always have to offset that with uh, a couple of days where it's really nice and peaceful and quiet and where I'm on my own so I think my videos are always a bit of that really they will show you the life the town that I visit or the city that I visit but also that quietness, that, uh, you know, that uh, the emptiness of it all that I, I so uh, need as well to clear my head. And uh, usually during those quiet moments, that's when I edit my videos and that's when I, you know, do the YouTube thing. So you're never really ever alone. You're always in connection with somebody, some people. It's my life. Is so, after Holland, after the busyness of that uh, city, Groningen, um, I have found this location now, which is really nice. It's by the lake, and I'm just going to take you with me just to wander around the lake. And as you will see, it's pretty, pretty quiet, which I like. So I'll stay here for a couple of days. And then I'll make my plans for the next uh, for the next stop. I'm thinking Hamburg because I need to start moving more north towards Denmark. So I'm thinking Hamburg, but the the jury's still out. That's like a really big major city. I've been there before. Not really sure if I want to sort of park up in the middle of a city center that busy. But we'll see. But let's just go out and enjoy the beautiful weather and that beautiful lake that's just in front of me. As a city boy, I would have never have guessed that uh, nature could have such a calming effect on me. Honestly, I've spent 
my first 50 years basically in in a city or in a town or you know in, in busy environments and i would never have guessed that actually it's nature that i need to calm down to calm you know the the voices in my head down it always sounds like i'm like some psychopath doesn't it it's just like it's a bit busy up in my head and uh this 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 quiet basically apart from the wind obviously but this quiet really really calms me down and although i'm not a steven spielberg yet um i hope that you know the images that I shoot brings across that calmness, that, uh, that peace and quiet. prospect of visiting Hamburg again sounds very exciting. I've decided I'm not going to go to Hamburg because I've been to Hamburg before and I saw on the map traveling north from here I could pass Bremen and Bremen is probably a, a town nobody's really <laughs> or a city sorry it's a city uh, that nobody's really ever heard of. It's like the second largest port together with Bremerhaven in Germany so it could be kind of interesting to go and see and you know looking up on you know the good old Google I discovered that it's got a UNESCO um, a UNESCO seal for a world heritage site so that's worth looking into and on top of that apparently the Brothers Grimm have written a famous fairy tale although I haven't heard of it the city musicians of Bremen um, we'll have to investigate because apparently there's a statue there that proves that you know and then maybe it'll all make sense but at the moment I, I haven't heard of it um so okay not Hamburg but Bremen let's go and check it out and see what good old Bremen has got to offer
Sometimes you find these uh, spots on park for night that you think uh, might not work out, but then uh, this one did in Bremen. I'm just standing and he's just nearly in Bremen, I'm just standing on the river and the city center is down there and little Dean is over there. So, uh, perfect spot for the weekend. When I arrived here last night, I didn't realize, but uh, look at where I ended up with my Dean at a coffee roaster's. Well, for me, that's just a perfect spot to wake up to uh, in the morning. The smell of beans roasting, it's gorgeous. Perfect. Quickly, story time, because I hadn't heard of that uh, famous fairy tale by Grimm. But anyway, I'll quickly tell you the story because there were so many tourists around that statue and they all want to rub the legs of the donkey, which I think is a bit bizarre. But as you can see, um, it, the gold is glowing at that particular part. Anyway, Donkey. Donkey is old, gets retired from his uh, farmer and is afraid that he will end up on the scrapping heap or, you know, dead basically. So he decides to become a musician and escapes the farm and on his travels he meets an old dog, an old cat and a rooster. They're all looking at the same fate basically. They're all up for the chops. Uh, nobody wants them anymore. So they decide to uh, start a singing band and they don't have an abode, they don't have a home, so they find this house on the way and um, it's housed by robbers, so they think they are the bad guys, so they lure them out of the house by making some really bizarre horrible noise because that's what they can do, these animals, and the robbers get, uh, you know, um, tricked into leaving their house so that these uh, four animals can actually um, well take possession of the house i would call them squatters but there you go anyway uh, robbers leave animals happy start a marching band or a um, you know a music group or whatever everybody happy apart from the robbers because they're homeless but that's the end of the story at least that's what i guess not really sure Maybe that's why nobody knows it, or I don't know it. Not the greatest fairy tale, is it? But there you go. I just wanted to interject here with my coffee. And on with Bremen.
So I just uh, left Dean just over my shoulder here and I came across this little cottage and you're wondering why is he filming this little cottage? Well, um, I'll show you in a second. Well, it's exactly in this cottage in the 19th century that three guys, one of which was called Bex, started a brewery called Bex. It's now one of the fourth largest breweries in Germany and famous worldwide, especially since there is also an American branch and famous for its green bottle, of course. But you know me, if I have a choice between a beer and a coffee, I would always go for the coffee. So this morning I went to the coffee roasters across the road. There was a lovely lady who explained all the flavors and all the, oh, all the brews that you can make with their coffee. Uh, apparently you can't buy them in the shop. They're actually for um, cafes and restaurants only. You can walk into their shop and buy the coffee. So. For this mocha pot, uh, she recommended me this one, which is like a blonde roast. And we will try that. I mean, coffee freshly ground always smells so great, doesn't it? Um, Bremen. So I'm glad I did Bremen because to be quite honest, I mean, like I said, Hamburg, I've done that. I've been there before, although the fairground is in town in Hamburg at the moment. So, and I love a good fairground and it's really, really big in in uh, in Hamburg so but I'm glad I did Bremen it's now time really to move on to Denmark because I've been lingering on but then again I have no pressure I have all the time in the world I can just do whatever I want to I would have liked to have stayed here longer I really liked Bremen the only thing is the park up here it is in the middle of the city center in the evening it can get loud young people kind of like to hang around and hang out here and and that can be really really noisy uh, so again people come and park here and they make noise so nights have been quite quite restless here so in that respect i'm glad to leave as well well that's been my week that i spent in in jolly old germany really and off to another country so i'm doing like three countries in three weeks is that possible of course it's possible it's europe everything is possible everything is close by here anyway uh thanks for joining me and i hope you'll join me next week see you then take care for now and i'm gonna have a coffee now <sighs>